is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey. Towards the unknown. The challenging. The daunting. But when we're together. Hand in hand. The journey becomes... We're partners, you and I, together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. performance in an encore versus for most of dreamers tonight their fiery shooting will be tested against one of the better defensive teams in the league as the Singapore singers hope to bounce back my name is Yoyo Sarmenta and joining me on the call is Sajatam TK Kusambun and TK the big question tonight can the Knights replicate their hot shooting against the gritty slingers yeah as you mentioned the past three games for the CLS Knights they've been able to make almost every shot that they have gotten it's been their home floor too, and Doug Herring has done a great job of setting up his teammates for those shots as well. As we take a look at the keys to the game, TK, take it away. Uh, the keys to the game, the, the CLS Knights have got to limit the free throws of the Singapore Slingers. Xavier Alexander, John Fields, Jaron Young, three guys who are going to be aggressive at attacking the paint, and that's been their main way to get points. That's something that they need to take away from them. Also the rebounds, those three players are aggressive at attacking the defensive board so they can get into transition. That's something that the Knights, especially Maxi Escho and Gerald Watkins have got to do. As we take up the team standings of the ninth season of the ABL, the CLS Knights are five and seven, the Stingers are seven and five, and if you're the Knights, you wanna be in the middle pack. Well, the Knights right now, they're, they're going between the eighth, eighth spot and the ninth spot. They want to secure that last playoff spot. They've done a good job here in this recent stretch, three and two in their last five games. I think that's something that they're going to do here in, the, in this home stretch. They want to keep that going, build up confidence for the second, ha second part of the season. As you mentioned, the Knights are in the midst of a five-game home sound. They have one more on January 26th and another on January 30th. And if you're the Stingers, 
you saw the game against Macau, you saw the game against Formosa, what do you need to do? Well, for the Slingers, I think personally they're not a team that has to worry that much about the three-point shooting because they're a very good perimeter defensive team already with guys like Desmond O oh or or Xavier Alexander, Jaron Young. They're guys that already hound the perimeter very well. I don't think they're going to have to put too much extra focus on that, that side of the CLS Knights. They're just going to have to continue to play their game and just do what they do on the road, which they're a very good road team. And we're just about to start. The Singapore Singers have been called out and we will have the BTN CLS Knights Indonesia in a bit.
Chasing referee in chance, Renante Uvana from Philippines, the Sunfire Chan Ho Ming from Hong Kong, and second umpire Wei Sheng Swan from Chinese. Side. Good evening once again. We are live from Gore City Jaya and Surabaya. Samantha. And here with me is TK, Sergeant Tam TK Kosambu. And we'll just look at the starting lineups. Any surprises? Anything you wanna look at, TK? Yeah, right now, no surprises in the starting five for both teams. I think Coach Rosa and Coach uh, Coach Neil have figured out who who they're gonna be starting for the rest of the season. I don't expect any major changes. But what is gonna be more interesting is who is gonna come off the bench first, who is gonna be their main producer off the bench. For the CLS Knights, the past two games, they've had different uh, contributions from Sandy Kuryawan, who had five threes in the, in the game against Macau, and they got a Rick Dayat for four threes in the previous game. Who is gonna step up for the night? We're talking about the previous game versus the Black Bears. Take it a big stat is the, really the big field goal percentage. Yeah. The, the, sorry, <laughs> go ahead. The, the CLS Knights, they are just hitting everything on the court here on their home court, and I, I really don't think there's much that's gonna change for today. And we saw there the Mono Vampire versus Singapore Slingers. What was the glaring stat in that game if you're the Singapore Slingers? The Singapore Slingers, it was just their fourth quarter. They were unable to close that out. John Fields was having a great game. They were unable to penetrate the Mono Vampire defense that shut him down. They have got to figure out a way to continue going to what's been going for them in the first three quarters. In terms of matchup, Douglas Herring and Jaron Young. Now, you mentioned Herring. He's a playmaker. And talking about the Singers, Young is their playmaker. What do you say about their matchup? Well, first of all, Herring, he has been a catch for, for the CLS Knights. He's coming in, playing that role as a point guard, being able to get way long off the ball, more into a, a catch-and-shoot situation where he should be more effective. As for Jaron Young, he himself comes into this Singapore Slingers team. He's taking Xavier Alexander away from, from that ball-handling duties as well, and Alexander has been thriving once he doesn't have to shoulder all of that responsibility. Coach Brian Russell would want nothing more than another big game from Douglas Herring. And actually, Tiga, one of the more interesting storylines in this ball game is uh, Wong Wei Long facing against his former team, the Singapore Stingers. Wong Wei Long spent seven years in Singapore. Yeah, and he came into this game once both teams were warming up. He was just talking to his friends from the Singapore Slingers. They've had so many great battles together. I think it's going to be a little friendly bout here in this game against his old teammates. Wong Wei Long was a former two-time local MVP of the league. Uh, he had 18 points, three three-pointers in that last game. And actually, Wong Wei Long needs three more three-pointers to become the all-time leader in three, point made, three points made in the ADL, surpassing Leo Avenida. Yeah, that's just something that just shows how consistent he's been and the talent level that Wong Wei Long has showed throughout all of the eight years he's played in the ABL. He's just improved each and every year, just adding a little bit something to his arsenal every time that he, he plays on the court. And the Stingers take on the court. And one of the also interesting to look, watch out for is Xavier Alexander. Would you say he's having an MVP type of season? Well, ever since, this is his fourth season, and ever since he started playing for the Slingers, he's always been one of those top contenders to to get that MVP award. I think this year is no different. He's gonna be there at the end of the year in the conversation for the MVP award. This year he's upped it another level, just distributing, just rebounding, defending, scoring. He's just doing everything for the Slingers this past four years. Nothing has changed. And we are just about to start in Gore Kurta Jaya. It's been raining outside, TK, and the Knights want to rain threes once again for the third consecutive game. Here we go. Stingers win the tip, and we are off in Indonesia. No, that's a quick two from the Stingers. And that's great recognition by Jaron Young there. He saw that the CLS Knights were slow to get back down the court. Easy two points for the Stingers to open the game. So you see early on, Xavier Alexander is on Douglas Herring. That should be an interesting matchup. I really like the matchup between Desmond Oh and Wong Wei Long, though. Those are two great friends as Max Escho gets the short stab underneath. So it's Alexander and Herring, Young and Jawato. Desmond O to go. Go, drives baseline. Flips it up, misses. 
That's an interesting matchup for Delvin Go going up against Maxi Esho. It just shows that he's getting more respect from opposing teams, putting an import on to defend a guy like him. Watkins knocks it down. 4-2 early lead for the home team. Watkins is a big guy, but he's shown that he has that range, that sweet stroke to knock down those shots. Fields misses and Esho gets the basketball. It's about a minute has passed in the opening salvo. Dawato mismatch now. Kicks it out to Watkins with the J. Watkins was able to put that down, but I don't think the CLS Knights are liking what they see from this offense early on. It's not a lot of movement. It's just someone trying to figure out what to do. And you mentioned earlier in the broadcast that Herring has been Im impactful, but what about Watkins' impact on this team? Watkins has been that nice big body that they want in the post, but he's been also able to step out, as we mentioned earlier, with his sweet uh, shooting. Fields having a tough time underneath. It gets the bucket to go. And that's what the Slingers will need, the inside presence of John Fields to counter Daryl Watkins in the paint. Long way long, sees that opening, goes all the way. The fans have been loving having Long Way Long on the team. Quick counter there from Jaron Young. Both teams playing at a quick pace already in six, two minutes in the first quarter gone. Jawata goes strong to the hoop, fouled by Young. So we see the interesting matchup. You can, you can tell Singapore watched the two previous games against CLS, Macau, and CLS, and uh, Formosa. And you see they're sizing up different people, putting in different bodies and the star players. Yeah, and I like what, what Coach Neo has done. He's put Alexander on Herring, trying to negate how the CLS Knights start their offense. And, and it's worked. Douglas Herring's barely touched the ball here in this early part of the game. And even though the Knights have been able to score, it's just been more of individual talent rather than getting wide open shots. And Douglas Herring isn't really much of a scorer, but he does handle the ball a lot for the Knights. We go the other way, Singapore ball, 7.34 remaining, 9-6 for the Knights. Young, top of the key. Shot clock at 10, takes the three, misses, Watkins with the rebound. Both teams are sizing up each other on offense, still struggling to find what will go over them. A wild shot from Wong Wei Long as Alexander sees an opening, goes all the way. Jawato got the basketball, but it seems like he also got the body. Feisty move there by Brandon Jawato. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Go to guys like Tae Ding Lun or Eung Han 
Eun Kyo, who's coming into the court here for the first time this season. And Young and Fields have been doing the heavy lifting. They have 14 points, 7 out of 20 from the field. Wong Wei Long, 5 on the shot clock. He has to do something with the ball. From the corner, Hidayat misses. But the ball stays with the Knights. Great heads up play from Sandy Kurinawa. on the shot clock. That's Alexander on the diet. Now Esho against Young, behind the back. Fumbles two seconds on the shot clock. Oh, but a foul is called as the shot clock expired. And that hurts just, just as the shot clock was about to run out. Maxi Esho gets a big break there. He's gonna go to the line for three shots. Jaren Young can't believe it. And again, the Slayers are one of the more better defensive teams here in their league. They hold opponents to 80.5. So they know how to stop opponents when needed. But a guy like Maxi Esho, who's averaging 24 points over the season, 8.8 rebounds, 3.6 assists, he just does whatever he wants on the court. He's got to find a better way to stop him. So the Knights caught a lucky break there as a shot clock. Twice actually, the shot clock went down twice and now they've been awarded yes. three free throws. That shot goes three, four, three. Second year in the ABL for Maxi Osho has just been a dominating force just as he was last year with the Saigon Heat. So it's now a 17 point lead for the PGN CLS Knights in Indonesia. Young, another story missed, but John Fields is there for the putback. Finally able to get one of those easy baskets, but still, as you see there, Jaron Young, he made his way there, unable to put it into the basket. Still needing that second chance. Kinyawan, not really known as a ball handler, really loses the basketball there. The diet misses on that triple. Young, forward pass, Alexander. Oh, three knights get back on D. Ooh, that was a head hit the backboard. That was great transition defense by the CLS Knights. They didn't give up. They put pressure on Xavier Alexander, stopped him from getting the easy basket, and forced him to pass into the corner to Tating Lun instead. So we, you talked about it earlier, TK. Uh, the bench players, really, uh, Coach Neil Benchan going deep to his roster. That was Tating Lun with that errant shot. Here he is. Will he redeem himself? No, he doesn't, but that was a better shot for him. Coach Mio really needs his bench players to step up because they'll be needing them later in the season as well. There we go. You see the bench of the singers applauding the effort of the bench players. Just under three minutes remaining. Wong Wei Long. He is fouled on the pass. Good recognition there by Wang Wei Long. Saw the disadvantage, just burst it straight to the basket. It would get another foul from the Singapore Center. So Wang Wei Long, again, he's, he's an eight year ABL veteran, still has a burst of speed. He started at a young age, so he's not relatively that old. He's just a seasoned veteran who knows what to do. Talk about that seasoned veteran. Nice pull-up shot there, just didn't get it to fall. And we go the other way. So things are starting to slow down for both teams. Settling down on defense a bit more. So the biggest lead was 17. If you're the Slingers, you want to cut it really, maybe hopefully to 10 and maybe even single digits as we close out the half. It's just a matter of who's going to be the guy to put the points up on board. They still have not figured that out yet. Oh, what a rebound from Fields. 
still that that is just great hustle by John Field. He is not he has been struggling to put points on the board, but he just keeps attacking those offensive rebounds relentlessly, and he's been getting second chance opportunities for the Singapore Stars. I believe that is the sixth offensive rebound. This is relentless work by John Field. So the Slingers are shooting 28%, but really doing a lot of work on the glass. John Fields might seem like a guy who's flashy. Once he dunks, he, he points at you in the face, he talks to you, but he's a guy that works hard on every single possession, and he deserves those moments every now and then. This is on the free throw. It's still a 34 to 20 lead for the Knights. Douglas Herring, once he gets on the floor here, Xavier Alexander is already shadowing him, not letting that point guard get the ball. Wong Wei Long from deep, buries it. Wong Wei Long. Two more to go for Wong Wei Long. He's starting up. He saw the space. The centers allowed him, but his defender went under the screen, and Wong Wei Long makes him pay. That's a dilemma for Xavier Alexander. He knows that he has got to stay on Douglas Harry, even though he sees Wong Wei Long open. It's just a pick your poison type of situation. A minute and 47 remaining here in the first half. We go to Young, Young baseline J. A bit long, and Wong Wei Long with the counter attack. Trying to draw the foul from Desmond O. Wong Wei Long to Esho. They swing it over to the corner. Oh, Sandy Kurnyawan was ready. He was ready to launch that triple from the corner. Almost good ball rotation there by the CLS Knights. They had the recognition of who the open guy was. Just a little bit more on execution. We all know Sandy Kurnyawan is a knockdown shooter, especially from the corner. A minute and 30 remaining. Fields, let's slip it over to the corner. Back to Fields. Fields, sorry, that is Jaron Young, rather. Jaron Young answers with a triple. And finally, some long range shooting from the Singapore Slingers off good ball rotation. That is what they need in this game to cut it down. Herring directs traffic. Telling Watkins to go underneath. Watkins. And he loses the basketball. Finally getting a stop there on Watkins. John Field standing his ground, making, making Watkins just dribble his way out of that possession. 55 seconds remaining in what has been a splendid first, first half for the Knights. It's not, it hasn't been a tidal wave of three pointers unlike the previous games but they're slowly but surely working their way towards another win. We're gonna have to watch out for the Singapore students though, they've been chipping away at that lead. As you mentioned, the biggest lead so far was 17 points, we're down to 11. With one minute, less than one minute left, if they can cut it down to single digits, that's gonna be great improvement for the, for the Singapore Slingers. Herring, sees an opening, blocked. Blocked by Fields, with a bit of a stare down. And Herring's looking for a foul. I think John Fields blocked that off his own face too, so just showing off that athleticism. There's 16 seconds left 16 on the shot clock. It's Escher against Young. Escher to the teeth of the defense. They go to Sandy Kurniawan. Sandy Kurniawan. Back to Esho, what a play! What a play there by Sandy Kurnion and Max Esho just tag team, passing it back and forth. Great, great points to end the first half for the CLS Knights. 16 seconds left here in the first half. Nowhere to go, Fields. Alexander. Oh, that should be an N1 pay. Yes, it is. A bang in the bucket for Xavier Alexander. An awkward possession. It looked like a broken play for the Singapore Slingers, but Xavier Alexander managed to make something work. That is Alexander's only fifth point of the game so far. He has not been 
as aggressive as Young and Fields in this game. Maybe this will get him going a little bit more. Alexander misses. Seven seconds left. Harry from deep. That looked like it went in, but it didn't. As we go to the halftime break, it's 39 to 28 for the home team, the PTN CLS Knights Indonesia. Together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. The partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on. Dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas. Sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas. Sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Fit me, makan mi, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, 
anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. Position in the top four. And we are underway in the third period. Young with the jumper. We saw some more off the ball movements there by the Singapore students, just getting screens. That's something that I like, something that should get their, their offensive options more open. And on the other end, Esho, jumper, also misses. Swinging themselves, packing themselves more in the paint. Want to stop Daryl Watkins and the other guys. Yeah. Get over there. Fields draws the foul on Watkins. So these two teams are sor sort of sizing each up once again in the early goings of the second half. Yeah, they're starting to learn that they're, what, tonight might not be their night from outside beyond the arc. They're just attacking the paint. Fields there getting the foul on Watkins. There's not been a lot of fouls tonight. That's their Watkins second. But if the Slingers continue to attack like this, it could be a factor for a team like the CLS Knights that don't have a lot of depth in that front court. Watkins goes one for two. So it's a 10 point game. Roughly going into a minute into the third. Long way long. A little bit of pressure from the singers in the backcourt. Yeah, seeing a little bit of that trap. Jawato. Nowhere to go on that drive. Go back to Herring. Back to Jawato. From deep. That is short. Looks like a good move by the singers to set up that trap. The CLS Knights look lost. Desmond O oh, from deep. That is long. Oh, what a find! Desmond O oh, to John Fields, who's all alone for the dunk. Beautiful pass there by Desmond O, oh, recognizing the defense scrambling. Easy two points for John Fields. That was a veteran heads up play from Desmond O, oh, longtime member of the Singapore Slingers. It's Herring. Guarded by Alexander to Watkins. Underneath. Desperation shot. Nearly wet in for Herring. Oh, beautiful rejection from Fields. Singapore Slinger starting to lock it down on defense. Herring up and under. Yes, sir. -y. Continues to make them pay by penetrating into the paint. And Alexander is fouled while going for the layup. As we mentioned earlier, both teams just attacking towards the rim, trying to get the defense on the center of their seats. And Alexander, he had five points in that first half, and he averages 20 points a game. He's not having his usual night, not, not getting those open runways to the basket. And that's what happens when John Fields isn't able to get his offense going. John Fields only four from 11. And again, I think Alexander's probably more focused on trying to slow down Douglas Herring. He took away Herring's passing there in the first half. And Alexander goes one for two. So the Slingers slowly but surely are making a game out of this. That's a trap once again. Open is Wong Wei Long. There we go. That ties the record. 214 three-pointers for Wong Wei Long. Wong Wei Long just needs one more triple to begin, 
to become the all-time leader in three points made in the ABL. But more importantly, that shot opened up the floor for the CLS Knights. Wong, circus shot doesn't go. Here is Young with a counterattack all the way. No, Fields is there with the putback. Still there with those second chance points. Coach Brian Rosen has got to be a bit more aware of that and his team's shortcomings on getting those defensive rebounds. And no look now, it's an eight point game. Escher, dribble moves versus Young. Jawato, oh, slivers his way inside. Good recognition, has a slow footed Delvin go on him, just burst right by, easy layup for Brandon Jawato. Alexander, the fields with the tomahawk jam. Offense is picking up for the Singapore Slingers. CLS Knights have got to figure out what their defense needs to do. So they, 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 they can exploit that mismatch there with Jawato on Delvin Go. Here we go. Jawato nearly got the bucket to go. Esho is the mess. Esho himself had the advantage there over Jaren Young, the smaller Jaren Young. Got the rebound and got the second chance points. Alexander misses on the tray. Long way long. Oh, takes out Denton O. Aaron pass, however. Alexander pushes off his defender. Alexander. Oh, off balance shot is good. <laughs> Alexander just like a bulldozer getting Douglas Herring off him and rushing off that contact for the easy two. Foul on that Maxi Escher drive. Things a little bit getting chippy here. That's a foul, number two. Jaren personal foul. Great move there to the basket by Maxi Escher. Foul on the floor though. We're gonna see an inbounds pass from the baseline. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Ten seconds up we go to Harry. Jawato. Oh, sorry, missed once again from Baron Jawato. Escher with the sledgehammer. A lot of bodies packing in the paint, and that's what happens sometimes. And the crowd is loving it here in Gor Kartajaya. Lead back up to 10. Steal by Harry. Harry. Foul. Great hands there by Douglas Herring. He's picking the ball away from Xavier Alexander. And Fields and Harry getting into it. This could be a pivotal moment. Just when the Slingers is picking up the pace, Douglas Herring gets the steal and draws another foul on John Fields. That is his second. Timeout on the flick of the modern vampire basketball club has a five-point lead over the defending champion San Miguel Ala Filipinas in the second quarter. And we have a lively crowd here in Gorker Tajaya leading on for their team as they continue to build on the lead over the Singapore Singers here in this game. So before that timeout, Herring and Fields were jawing at each other. And Esha was there acting as peacemaker. <laughs> Lead back up to 12, 4.52 remaining. Young, turn around Jay. No go, one way long with the counter attack, one way long. Decides to kick it out, Heron wide open, buries it. Just great, great patience there by Wong Wei Long. He had a shot at the layup, but waited it out. Got a better opportunity from Douglas Harry and another three. Lead back up to 15. More forced opportunities by the Singapore Slingers and the Knights. Are gonna continue to build up on this. Harry has scored the last five points. Goes inside to Watkins. Rebound picked up by Jawaka, he is fouled. 
Almost a great, great pass there by Douglas Herring to Daryl Watkins inside. Fortunately, off the foot. So the Stingers started to eight points. What happened there, TJ? How did the Knights get this 15-point lead? Uh, as you said, the pivotal moment there by Douglas Herring getting that steal off Xavier Alexander and getting into the head of John Fields a little bit. That threw them off their offensive game. They, they went cold in their past three possessions. The Knights have just capitalized on this moment. A little bit of heat check for Douglas Herring on that play. The, the Knights get the break, though. They certainly don't want that. You do want points in a hurry. You're down by 15, but you have to be sure that you're able to get them, or it's just going to be another turnover, and the Knights are just going to keep on attacking and adding more points to the lead. 39 remaining and the Knights have established a 55 to 40 lead the biggest lead in the first half earlier it was 17 points Jawato on go uses his speed this is on the layup Watkins is there doesn't get the end one Hyped up right now, the entire team feeding off the energy of this gorgeous Vajaya crowd. And as you mentioned, TK, the crowd is really appreciating the effort of their home team. One of the loudest crowds here in the ABL. City of Surabaya always ready to support the BTN CLS Knights. One thing from their previous play was Brandon Joato has just been attacking Delvin Go over and over and Delvin has just not been able to keep up with the speed of the forward from Indonesia. So a lot of two, these two teams have been sizing up each other, going with cross matches and these matches here and there. As you pointed out, that Jawato versus Devon Go, Jawato's looking to exploit that. Here is Young. But a foul. A foul on, I believe it's Devon Go. Not, not the best game today from Delvin Go. Over four from the field, three rebounds. Another offensive foul there. Just not the way that he wants to be playing here in the middle of the season as the key player off on the starting lineup. Not enough credit here for the CLS Knights to have been given to Douglas Herring, not on offense, but on the defensive end of the field. He has just helped shut down Xavier Alexander from getting that offense going. As we mentioned over and over again, Xavier Alexander only has nine points, eight points in this game. His attempts have not come that much. He's mostly been getting it off in the open court. It's a great, great effort on defense to stop that half-court set. We thought that Alexander was going to shut down Herring, but it was the, it's now the other way around as Wong Wilong gets the free throw to go. 57 to 40 for the Knights. Three minutes left in the third. And here is, as we talked about, Xavier Alexander. They go down though to Fields against Negrojo. Fields wants this matchup. Asking for the basketball once again. Young goes to Alexander, to Delvin Go with the fade. Talk clock violation for the Singapore Stingers. Not the shot you want to see from Delvin Go. He's a big body. He's got to keep attacking towards the basket, not fading away like that. Singapore Slingers are a good team with talented pieces, but you can see from this game the homework that they need to do. Fortunately for them, there's a large chunk of the season left. And the Slingers have been stuck at 40, I believe, in the last three minutes. Long way along, loses the basketball, but the ball will remain with the BPN CLS Knights. Shot clock at 10. Jawata will inbound. Okay. 
So the Knights have, act, have outscored their opponent in each of the three quarters, including this one. So they have it. It's not a big run, but they're slowly pulling away here. Just consistent, taking advantage of those mismatches. Jawato takes the three, decides to go inside and gets the bucket. Jawato, he's been a great shooter these past two games, but today he's shifted into an attacker in the paint. He's doing it well. The biggest lead for the BTN CLS Knights Indonesia at 19. And they look to pour it on. Sandy Kurniawan, that's his shot. Misses Jawato. And another lucky break for the Knights. That three from Sandy would have brought the house down. The fans were ready to explode there, but they get another chance here to push their lead to over 20. And you look at the recognition there from Maxi Escher. Instead of driving, he saw his three-point shooter waiting in the elbow. There we go. Kanyawa from deep. Buries it! Sandy Kurniawan does the you can't see me. And it's a 62 to 40 lead. He's feeling it. Doug Harry earlier attacking the basket, attacking on defense, and it sparked a 12 and 0 run by the Knights. The single course leaders have just failed to capitalize on their opportunities on offense. Shot clock. Leads eight. Alexander has to put it up. Four shot. Young's there. Finally, what you need there out of the timeout. Just putting up two points on the board. Singapore thing is doing well to recover. A minute left here in the third. Esho. Step back three. That doesn't go the draw and feels fighting for the rebound. The ball will go to Singapore. So the Stingers finally, finally put two more points in the scoreboard after that drought. They were stuck at 40 for a significant amount of time. Desmond O, oh, swing it over. Fields is irate. Kurniawan thought about it. Back to Kurniawan. Kurniawan. This is. Kurniawan gave up his usual shot there. Xavier Alexander trying to attack the plate. With the paint and losing his footing. Something that he's been struggling with the entire night. So you saw the look of exasperation there from Xavier Alexander. He wanted to get that foul on Herring. 23 seconds to go on the game clock. 14 on the shot clock. Alexander goes for the fadeaway. Docks it down. And maybe that's something that the Singapore Slayers need to go to Xavier Alexander in the post against smaller Douglas Herring. Four seconds. Three. Herring. That's Esho from deep. Buries it. And that is how we will end the third period on a three-parter from Maxi Esho. 65 to 44 lead. What a third quarter for the BTN TLS Knights Indonesia. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. 
Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas. Sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi... Tanpa drama. What really got them there? Uh, the past three quarters, the Knights have been doing well attacking the paint over and over, especially Douglas Herring, and he paid off at the tail end of the third quarter where he was able to suck in the defense, get guys like Sandy Kurniawa or Maxi Esho for that buzzer beating three wide open. And that's how the spacing has become wide open for the Knights. Kurniawan had trouble there. Wong Wei Long for the record. And Wong Wei Long hit that for the record. And that sort of circus shot for the three. That would have brought the house down. <laughs> would have been icing on the cake for the past two or three shots. Again, if you just joined us, Wong Mei Long has tied Leo Benito's record for most three-pointers in the ABL. And just one, one more to have that record just for himself. And now Esho is guarding Alexander. And it's Jawato against Young. And the Knights have the basketball. Oh, Aaron pass from Wong Mei Long. A bucket inside for John Fields. Great one-two play there from the Singapore Slingers and the CLS Knights. They turn the ball over like this. It's not a good start for them in the fourth quarter. They're up by a lot, but they just they need to watch out for these kind of plays. Beautiful dish there from Jaron Young to a cutting John Fields. The two have really poured it on for the Singapore Slingers. Fields spins and is fouled by Nigrojo. Great move there by Fields to get to the paint. Rojo. Two straight defensive positions that have not gone his way. But Coach Brian Rosen is willing to let his young big man experience the floor a little bit more with the big lead. So Firman Nugroho has the full task of defending John Fields. Field so far has been the meeting. It's not the kind of basket that you might want for the Slingers right now. They need some big momentum changing plays. Oh, behind the back pass. Picked up by Desmond O. Oh, racing down the court and he finishes the layup. Time is not on the side of the Slingers. The Knights are just hoping to just have enough to pull this one away. They go to Jawato. Jawato, short stab is good. And that's a tough cover for Jaron Young, who already has four fouls. Brandon Jawato knows it, and he attacks right into the chest. Two points for Jawato. A steal completed by Wong Wei Long. Wong Wei Long, thought about three. Kurniawan fakes, shot, and he drills the three. And Sandy Kurniawan is giving us different three-point celebrations. 
<laughs> he has plenty of those, and there should be more to come. But great recognition by both women to transition, getting their offensive game going. They cut it down to 16 earlier, and they just lost their momentum there. It's back up to 21. Okay, so listen, Maxi Escho suffered cramps. And is not on the floor as an offensive foul is called on Singapore. The field is obviously not pleased with that. That's his third. That's his fourth personal foul, so both Fields and Young. One foul away from fouling out. Knights have them right where they want them. Tawato. This foul. <laughs> Tawato. Oh, John Fields letting his emotions be known. Is that number four on Fields or is he's gone? That is field fifth personal foul. It seems foul. the crowd, the fans are letting him hear it. Fields not liking it. Big, big blow to the Singapore Singers. Brandon Zawato, though, two straight possessions, drawing that offensive foul on John Fields on the other end and coming right up on offense, knowing that Fields has that fourth, driving it straight into that defense and getting a foul off of it. Just great performance here by Brandon Zawato, despite only scoring 10 points. That's right, and another stinger in foul trouble is Jaron Young, as you mentioned, he has four. And Xavier Alexander, fortunately, has zero fouls. Five minutes left in this ball game. Stingers need to work. Alexander drops the three. It's a second straight triple. They're gonna need a lot more of that in the remaining five minutes of the game. DK, if you're the Knights, you're just hoping that you do enough as Maxi Esch is still not on the floor. You just have to be careful of easy turnovers. Bodies on the floor. First it was Heron, then it was Alexander. Melvin Go. Duraj. Short stab. It's good. Great basket there by Lavin Raj. The young man needs to build up his confidence. And you heard there the crowd was giving him a nod. Giving him a nod on the Singapore bench. Only along. They swing it over. Kunyawan from deep. So not convert, sorry TK, go ahead. Singh is starting to build a little bit of momentum, get some stops here. A couple more and they could be on to something. Alexander looking for another three. Goes inside. Desmond, oh, short on the triple, rebound. Pass is tipped off. That's, him. That's just a little bit of inexperience from Ng Hao Kian. His first game for the Slingers in this season. And that's something that they need to learn. They need to improve on quickly. So it's a 16 point lead. And Coach Neo Ben Chang is probably thinking if I, if I don't win this one, at least I'll get some experience from you guys. At least, or at least from the bench. But he's bringing Jaren Young back into the game. Hoping for another big run. A last comeback at that probably. As Watkins says nope. We are looking for the fourth straight win for the Knights. Oh, beautiful reverse there. So the Alexander shot turns into a good layup for the Singapore Singers. Three minutes left. And what has been a strong second half for the BDN CLS Knights Indonesia. Watkins, that is way short. All the Knights need to do right now is just play smart basketball, space the floor out, get good shots, don't force anything, because the Slingers can get points in a hurry. Just like that as Alexander makes the bucket 
There is a timeout on the floor, 78 to 64 for the home team. You want to win this one. They've been in some pretty, pretty formidable squads. Uh, well, the Singapore thing is they, they've made a run back here. It's down to 14 to 2.30 to go. That's a big lead, but the CLS Knights, they can't give away. Long way long. Is that a three? For the record! Long way long! Just a dagger straight in the slingers as they cut it down to 14. Long way long. Now has the ABL record for most number of three-pointers. And he did it. How fittingly, or how ironically, against his former team, the Singapore Singers. Oh, they downgraded it into a two. The scoreboard read 81 at first. So we'll check, we'll check. We'll check on the official score later, but it was a dagger shot by, the, by, by Wong Wei Long against his former club just as they were trying to make their way back in. So we'll check if Wong Wei Long did hit a three-pointer. Seems like he doesn't. They downgraded into a two. So hold your breath, folks. <laughs> Wong Wei Long doesn't have the three-point record just yet. Sandy Kurniawan goes to the bank. Good shot there by Sandy Kurniawan showing that he has more than just those corner threes. Huge block from Daryl Watkins. Wong Wei Long with the layup on the other end. Just shows that Wong Wei Long is willing to do anything, not caring about those individual records. And some flares going up here between Watkins and Alexander. Savior Alexander did not appreciate the hard foul from Daryl Watkins. And the two are just having a friendly chat there. And the officials are right on top of it. You know, Alexander has been around the league as for, for four years. He knows how to he knows a thing or two about playing with the officials and with opposing imports. Maybe trying to get the officials in his favor a little bit. Now three for six from the line after that made three throw. So still a huge deficit for the Stingers. A minute and 30 remaining. And if you're the Stingers, you're just looking for positives, positive takeaways here in the game. Yeah, they just want to finish strong, especially from guys like Lavin Raj and Eun Hao Kian who are on the floor. Not used to seeing a lot of minutes. Here they want to finish the game strong. Watkins converts on the first. So the Knights still have their starters on the floor. And as we mentioned earlier, Maxi Esho suffered cramps, I believe. He's not going to come back with the game in hand. That's the positives that Coach Neil Benson wants to see. Robert Raj just having the confidence to kind of take those shots and hope he can carry on to his career. Lavin Raj has gained the affection of the home crowd here in Surabaya, applauding him. Watkins, straight away three doesn't go. A minute left in the ball game. And what has been a spectacular performance once again from the home team. Alexander wishes the foul on Watkins. Alexander seems like he wanted that one too. Maybe getting some in on Daryl Watkins, who has been going back and forth. So Coach Brad Rossum is going to his bench. And that will be it for Daryl Watkins. Strong performance from him. Yeah, 16 points, 11 rebounds, 20 of defensive stops. It's a great performance for the newly acquired big man for the CLS Knights. So Watkins go to the bench. Herring, Jawaton, 
Nugroho and Kurniawan. And Wong Wei Long still on the floor. Does Wong Wei Long have one more three pointer in, in him? He has 214 triples right now, tying Leo Avenido. If he hits one more, that puts his total to 215. And he will have the ABL record for the most number of threes. Alexander drops on the floor. Here it is, Wong Wei Long for the record. Knocks it down. Wong Wei Long, all time leader in three point made in the ABL. And what a way to set that up. You couldn't ask for a better play. Herring loses his man. Defender on the floor, wide open triple for Wong Wei Long. And that, my friends, is a sure three pointer. 215 threes for the veteran Wong Wei Long. But more importantly, the CLS Knights look to be going away with their fourth straight victory in the ASEAN Basketball League. What a game from the home team. And your final here in Gorkar the Jaya, 89 to 74 for the BEN CLS Knights Indonesia over the Singapore Slingers. They didn't do it with a lot of threes. They just bullied the paint, went with the shots when they were presented. Talk us through how did the Knights earn their fourth straight victory. Well, at first it started out, they were attacking the paint. They know that the Slingers were probably going to come in and try to stop the hot shooting. They attacked with Daryl Watkins, with Doug Herring. Once they got that going, it opened up the floor for Wang Wei Long, for Sandy Kurniawa. Those guys got their three-point shots going. But more importantly, I think it was the defense that they put on the Singapore Slingers, stopping John Fields, stopping Xavier Alexander from getting their offense going. Again, you're following to 74 you mentioned the defense DK what did the Knights do exactly to try to slow down the three-headed import of Alexander Fields and Young I feel like what they, whatever they threw on Xavier Alexander not letting him get those touches that he wants to be able to create offense for others whether it was Brandon Juwato whether it was Douglas Herring whoever they put on Xavier Alexander they were clear that they want to stop the offense from flowing through Xavier Alexander. Let it go through Fields, let it go through Jaron Young, but not from the X-Men. Alexander got his points a little bit too late. It was a done deal and John Fields was fouled out. Alexander and Fields with 22 points apiece. Maybe go DK, court time. What an exciting night it is for SM Basketball League. I'm here with Coach Brian, the winner of the fourth win streak here this evening. Coach Bryant, what are you most proud about your squad tonight? Well, we just kept fighting. We played together. Uh, the game was ugly because uh, a lot of guys were making turnovers and fouls. Right. But we stayed together, and uh, it was a team victory. Okay. Uh, it seems that the league is finally taking notice of your squad's perimeter shooting and this ball distribution. How will this recent surge of the BTS LS Knights affect the coaching side of things? Well, it helps us because it helps our offense. We're doing more shooting in practice, and the guys have more confidence also. So we're making more three-point shots. And uh, prior, six days to go until Wolf Warriors in China, it's a good amount of rest. What is most important for you as a coach to your team? What should they prepare? What do they need to do? We do have to get some rest, but we still need to work on some things like uh, rebounding. And also, the Wolf Warriors beat us the first time, so we have to get them back. Uh, last thing about Maxi Asho, he, there was quite a scare there. Can you give us an update on what happened? Yeah, just cramps, so he needs to drink more water. <laughs> All right. Anyways, congratulations, yeah, Coach Brian. We'll see you in Wolf, Thank you. In Wolf Bar in Santa. There you have it. Yo, TK, it's back to you. I'm here at Gorka Baja. My name is Ardo. See you guys in the next match at Ashton Basketball League. Thank you very much. Uh, so we got an update on Max Escher. So he's okay. He's got the scraps. And so we heard Coach Brian Rossum. How did they win TK? Well, as he mentioned, it was just a, an all-around effort from everyone on the team. I just think everyone got involved. All, all their starting five in double digits. Sandy Kurniawan off the bench for eight points. He's just got to be proud of his team coming into this game. Four straight wins. They're going up against the Wolf Warriors next. They won revenge after that loss. The stats here... I don't think it's going to say mu enough about the all-around effort that the, the BTNC last night have put into this game. So, again, the Knights have won four straight. They've beaten Mono Vampire Basketball Club, a finalist last year. They've beaten Macau Black Bears. They've beaten Formosa. And now the Stingers. So what does this four-game winning streak tell us to the rest of the league? Well, first of all, it's everyone can contribute. 
from the CLS Knights. It's not just their five starters. Sandy Kurniawa and Arif Hidayat, he showed in the last game. This is a deeper team than we saw last year from the CLS Knights. Wang Wei Long here, uh, he's been able to get his offense going after a slow start to the season, breaking that all-time record as well. It just seems like the CLS Knights are clicking into the, their, their right form at a good time of the season. And as you see, Wang Wei Long is the player of the game. He ended up with 18 points, three three-pointers, and he once again has the able record for most number of three-pointers in ABL history at 215, surpassing uh, Filipino legend Lewa Benito at 214. Here was that play. So Alexander, his former teammate, falls on the play. And wide open is Wong Way Long for the ABL record. And TK, for the Singapore Singers, they've lost back-to-back -back games. First against the lowly Monobank Basketball Club. And now the CLS Knights. What do they say, what do they need to do to get their back to their winning ways? I think in this game, first of all, they're missing some players. Um Han Bin, Russell Lowe, Larry Liu. They can't take too much into this loss, but they, they've got to acknowledge what they need to do better. John Fields has to be able to stay on the floor. Xavier Alexander has to figure out how, how to counter if teams start throwing on defenses to him like this in this game. Jaron Young, he's got to be more efficient. It's just learning progress. They can't take too much into this loss, but there, there are things to learn for the Singapore Slingers in here. So the Knights are 6-7, and seven and the Slingers are 7-6. and six. We talked about this pregame, TK. The Knights want to be in the middle of the pack. They don't want to belong to the Wolf, to the lower tier, no offense to the Wolf Warriors and the Motor Vampire Basketball Club, but they want to be right smack in the middle. And, and right now, that's what they've done, four straight wins. They already have more wins than they had last season. It, it's just a great turnaround for the team. Brian Rosen has done a great job in building up the roles of the players on his team, getting the right guys, playing the right system, and it's just a, a good stretch right now for the CLS Knights. They're going to hope that they can carry this on until the end of the regular season. Once again, the Knights are in the middle of a five-game homestand. Two more games here in Gorkerta Jaya. One on January 26 against, I believe, the Wolf Warriors, and another one as we end the month on January 30. If you're the Knights, you want to get these two wins. TK, the last two wins for the CLS Knights. Well, the CLS Knights, they want to finish the strong two more home games, and then it's off the road for quite a long period of time. They just want to finish their homestand here well, and take control of their position in the standings. And there you have it. Once again, your final 89-74 to 74 for the BTN CLS Knights Indonesia against the Singapore Singers. It was a great display of inside and outside. Wong Wei Long, terrific shooting. Once again, my name is Zero Sarmenta. For my partner, Sajitab T. Klosom Boon, we bid you good night here from Gorkar Jaya. Your final, once again, 89-74 to 74 for the BTN CLS Knights Indonesia.